Hi everyone, it's Sam from Art by Sam Badrock and today we'll be drawing Shrek from Shrek and Donkey um, and then tomorrow night we'll be drawing Donkey So or next week we'll be drawing Donkey so um, I'm going to go for as long as I can I have a very sore throat tonight so um, I do apologise but I just wanted to make sure that you guys did actually get this this tutorial so let's just try and, yeah, there we go okay, so let's get started so first we want to draw the outline of Shrek's head like this. And it's sort of like an squashed rectangle. It's squashed here and up here. So can we all see that? And I'll just erase some of those scratchy lines. Now if you don't get this on the first time, that's okay. Um, keep practicing and also remember that you can pause rewind and replay at any point so next we're going to do a bit of a cone like this like that and we're going to make it fairly large like this and these edges are curved one, two, three, four, five. So next we're going to draw the main part of his body. And it comes from his chin here. See that there? Comes down. Like this. Curves out just slightly. So I've done a fairly straight line and then I've curved out like this. All right. Curve here. And down. Okay, so don't worry if these shapes don't make sense just yet. They're just base shapes, okay? Um, and more of it will make sense as we progress. I just need to move my page up a little bit. Okay. So next we're just going to add the base of his skirt, like this. The curve line, and the curve line. And curve it down. Like this. See that? Next, we're going to add one little half moon down here, like this, and another one, and it's going to be a little bit more pointy and elongated. Um, and we might just chunk it out just a little bit at the base. And it'll erase those lines. Okay. So next, we're going to add the base of his leg. Like that. This side is slightly straightened. Whilst this side is curved. Okay. This comes out just a little bit, like that, and then it's slightly straightened, comes up, and then this side is curved, see that? Okay, I'm going to come back over here and just add in some arms, like that, nothing too fancy. And then we're going to 
like we did in our koala tutorial. One, two, three. See how we've got our little landmarks for the limbs? Now we just join it together like so. See that? Now we're just going to create an outline for his hand like that, which is much of how we did it with the koala. Okay. We'll come back up to the head and we'll add the little outlines for the ears. One. And by now we should we should be able to recognize that this side is smaller than this side because his head's slightly turned. This one sits on front of the head, this one sits behind the head. Alrighty. So let's start giving him some clothes and facial features. I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna make this a little bit broader. I might even bring that ear back just slightly. Might bring it back here. Like so. Okay. What I want you to do is add in just across like this, just so we know how far his head is turned. And now we're going to start adding in the eye the eyebrows I looks a bit funny tonight and try it again Sorry guys, my drawing's a bit off tonight. I do apologise. We'll have to do. Alrighty, and now we're going to add in the big nose here. It's fairly large, takes up lots of his face. And the nostrils are much like how we've been doing leading up to this big tutorial main event <clears throat> sorry guys my computer's running away give me a minute So next we're going to, these little ears kind of do that, don't they? So we, we cut down from that base shape that we made, see that, and do the same here, and that, like that, all right. And then with his eyes, we're just going to, and don't forget to have the white in there. Like that. Okay. So next, we have the line like this and a line like this for his um it's like his cheeks or something and the big um 
Alrighty, right, so now we're going to erase some lines. We'll erase this one here. This one here. I don't know why my Shrek tonight looks worried. <laughs> that is rather funny. Okay. So next, we're going to add his jacket. So what we're going to do is make this higher here, make this lower, because it sort of is a bit big on him, isn't it, like that. All right, we add an extra line there. Erase that out. And then we add the jacket over here like this. It's sort of a bit small for him too, isn't it? it sort of goes there. And like this. Like that. And then he's got this weird little toggle thing, which I'll draw in first, which is like a rectangle. And then we'll draw the hole where that sort of comes from. And then we draw the rest of the jacket. See that? It comes up like that. So it's important if you're going to draw the um, clothes to think about what are the accessories that might be in the way of the main lines. All right. So let's work on the top of this jacket. So it sort of comes off like this, like that. See that? And around. Like that. Oop. Too many lines. I'll do that again so it's a bit more clear for you. Okay. So we have his neck down here. Two lines out for the jacket. Then down like that. And then this line curves around. So this line here is the top of the jacket. And this line is where his neck sits in the jacket. See that? See that? Okay, and then that's his, um, he sort of wears a t-shirt on underneath, doesn't he? Like that. And we'll just add in some extra headspace here. Like that. That side of the eye. Alrighty. So next... We're going to give him a belt down here before we do these hands. Okay, so the belt curves down like that, which we've already sort of done that baseline, which is really good. And I just see over here how I've curved it out a little bit. So it looks a bit 3D. Now before I go right across here, I'm going to draw the belt back this way and that's where the belt loops back through the buckle so I'm going to draw the buckle and then continue on with that belt like that see that Okay, so I just curve that out a bit. See that? 
Now we can go up to this arm. So if you're with me so far, you've done really well and it's okay if you need to rewind the video. That's fine too. Like, don't stress. So, remember how with the koala we did little joins in his arm like that? And obviously his arm isn't see-through, so we're going to erase some of these lines like this. I'm going to erase this line here. Like that. Okay. And I'm going to thin out that arm a bit there so we can see the back of his jacket like so. See that? Because that's what it seems to do in the, um, in the actual cartoon. Like that. Okay. So next we're going to get onto this arm. So he has a very big thumb and it's quite round at the end. So what I would do is do the circle and then do the limb of the thumb. Kind of like how we've been doing our... Um, you know, all of our other arms and legs in the other tutorials. Okay. See that? Okay. So next we're going to go down like this. And his thumbs are actually very, or his fingers are very simple. Um, and now that I've said they're simple, I'll probably ruin them. <laughs> okay. Just add in the little fingernails that he has. <laughs> My hands are never that good. Oh, that's too funny. Alrighty. I knew that would happen as soon as I said, oh, they're really simple. I'd ruin it. Okay. Oop. Okay. Oh, stop shaking, camera. Sorry, everyone. Okay. So. Next, we are just going to work on his feet. I wonder if I can move that camera up a bit. And his legs. So, just like with the kangaroo, oh, what do we do? Well, with any of their pictures, we join all of our little limbs together and erase what doesn't, what we don't need, like that. Okay. I saw these base lines and I would actually just, you know, he doesn't have Thor's legs, he's um, a bit pudgy, so I'm going to make them a bit smoother there, like that. And now we're going to do his boots. So, you start with a line like that, it's a bit squidgy, go down and then go back up like that. And we do the same here down and back up. Like that. And then we go down. Like 
and now the base shape for his feet are just sort of like bent jelly beans so that's what we start off with and we add in a heel bring it out a bit like that see how it's starting to take the shape of a foot like that And then we finish the base of the top of that shoe that sort of flicks around like that. You just keep carving away at that. I swear I drop a pencil in every lesson. And he has sort of like little laces, doesn't he? Like that. Okay, so the next one, this foot's actually um, side on. So, a little curved line like this. Hopefully, you can see this whole foot. And then we go like that. Back down like that. And then we sort of just curve it around like that. See like that? And then we can add in a bit of a heel like this. Like that. Clean it up. Like this. And don't forget these little laces like that. Okay. So what else is our Shrek needing? I think that's pretty much it. We'll just clean up his hand there. That is how we draw Shrek. I hope you enjoyed tonight's lesson. Um, if you have any questions about this one, you just email me, okay? Or if you need to give me a call, you can call me as well. I'm, I'm available on the phone. Um, I really don't mind. Because, you know, you guys are missing out on quite a lot here with the, um, with, with the lockdown. So I hope that you're all doing all right. And um, I hope that you're all sort of staying safe. And... Uh, yeah, because of how big I did that thumb, that's hilarious. And one more thing is we just need to add in that, that sleeve like that. And if you have any drawing questions, um, if you have any thing that you'd like to learn how to draw, you just let me know and I will um, do my best to help you guys out. All right. Have a lovely evening, everyone. Bye.